What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Financial Hawks. In today's episode, we'll be going over my top five editing softwares you should go ahead and use on YouTube today. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay connected on this financial journey. So having the right editing software can definitely make or break you on YouTube, or at the very least, make things go faster or a bit smoother compared to other editing softwares. So to help you guys out, here's my top five editing softwares you can go ahead and try out today. I will leave links to all of these as well in the comments section and in the description box below. So definitely check those out. So starting out at the top spot is Adobe Premiere Pro. This is the current editing software that I primarily use for all my YouTube channels. The pros of this is one thing I really like about this, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys who do use Adobe Premiere know, it has a great user friendly interface. Now the con, well, there's a con to this, but once you actually envelop yourself into the software, you've used it maybe for a few weeks, few months, you'll slowly understand that every placement of the different things um, inside the software actually makes a lot of sense. And before long, you'll start doing new things you probably never thought you'd be doing in the software. Another cool thing about uh, this software in particular is a cool Creative Cloud Online Sync. So if you do have Adobe Premiere Pro, you're able to download and save everything on the cloud. And you can also stay in the same atmosphere as the other Adobe Premiere products. Another cool thing that I like a lot about the Premiere Pro I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will end up liking as well is the great advanced color correction that it has with the 2009 update Premiere introduced the new color grading curves feature and it's so good it allows you to really change how your basic films look if you want to have that more movie like look the more cinematic now for the cons for the Adobe Premiere Pro the big one is the money this one is not a cheap software and unlike in the past back before you were able to buy one product like buy just Premiere Pro by itself you may pay maybe what three four five hundred dollars for example and then you would have that software this one is on a subscription base so you will constantly be paying now the best bet is if you're a student for example or a teacher you can get a great discount that's actually what I ended up doing when I was in college getting that discount which helped out a lot next up is Final Cut Pro another cool editing software that I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably used in some time or some form of your life especially if you were in some type of editing in college or in high school this is another cool one that I've also used quite often and uh, yeah here's the pros and cons to this editing software now on the pro side the render speed of Final Cut Pro is amazing everything is pretty much rendered while you're working so exporting files doesn't really take too long compared to some of the other software the color correction is also good on final cut pro never really had an issue as well using this software compared to the other ones also a cool thing i like about final cut pro as well is that it does have a pretty good amount of different features in terms of like transitions and different things like that for your video files and for some of your graphics as well which is always great when you're editing now on the con side of things the clipping is sometimes not spot on it's just here and there at least from back when i was using it a lot another one is the sound editing using this software isn't the best i guess compared to like some things like Adobe audition again it kind of makes sense because this is primarily an editing software in terms of video and not audio but given the fact that there isn't a adobe audition equivalent per se like the adobe premiere side has this can definitely be a hit or miss for a lot of people third on my list is iMovie this is another pretty famous uh, editing software especially for a lot of you guys who have Macs since this is a free software that you guys can easily download right now if you do have a Mac. Now the pros and cons of iMovie. The cool thing about iMovie is that it has pretty simple clip selection. It really doesn't take too much to get your clip on the project and then putting that on the timeline. Pretty simple I think for anybody so that's one good thing about this. Adding transitions using iMovie is also a breeze. Kind of reminded me of the old Windows editing software. I will say this one is probably even easier to do in terms of you know just adding transitions again to your clips before or in between clips. 
The cool user interface on this is also cool between the desktop and the mobile versions. Now for the con side, this is a linear editor. By that, I mean you're not able to have multiple clips, multiple video clips on top of each other, for example, or multiple audio clips. So if you want to have like three or four or five different audio and you want to have like three clips all playing at the same time, you aren't able to do that. You will have to follow a linear one clip one video type of motion compared to a non-linear editor like the funnel cup pro we're pretty much able to edit any way you please you can start editing on your ending first and then you can start at the beginning of the video and then you can start working on the middle or you know if you wanted to start in the middle and then go back to the beginning and then go back to the end there are a lot of limitations in terms of the graphics that this offers compared to some of the non-linear editors as well though this could be good for newcomers in terms of just having just the basics solved fourth up is vegas pro this one is a good one for you guys who are on windows and look for something special this one should definitely scratch your itch. So the pros and cons of good old Vegas Pro. Now on the good side, this software seems to always be updating itself to match up with some of the other non-linear editors like Adobe Premiere and Funnel Cup Pro. So that's definitely good that they're constantly updating, which is something that you definitely want in a software because there's always new things to be added. Another cool thing, is that even though it is a non-linear editor, this one doesn't really require super high-end hardware like some of the others. Another good thing about Vegas Pro is that it also comes with a lot of different transitions, effects, etc., etc., that you can use for your video. So if you do want to upgrade your visuals, have cool transitions, work on edits for your audio, this software does seem to have all of your basics and a little bit more which is always great when you're looking for free software. Now for the negative side, it does have a pretty good amount of transitions and effects, but you can always have more to match up with the Adobe Premiere and the Final Cut Pros. Another one is that this one is only for Windows, like the iMovie, which is only for Mac. Again, this was, I guess, more of a con for the people who aren't able to access this. If you are on Windows, this is something that you can definitely use, but if you are on Mac, unfortunately, you won't be able to use this one. You will have to go ahead and stick with your iMovie and other editing software. And thirdly, this is, again, more of a beginner, beginner-ish, I guess, medium-ish editing software compared to some of the others. So with this being more beginner-friendly, you will be missing tools that you will see again in some of the more advanced software. And lastly, the free software, DaVinci. This one is free for both Windows and Macs, and I believe Linux as well. So if you are just starting out and you haven't edited anything in the past, you should definitely try this one out since it's free. And the pros and cons of DaVinci Resolve. Now on the pro side, it does have pretty low specs to actually use. So you really don't have to worry about having like the most advanced computer to actually use the software, which is always good. From what I've heard, I've heard that it had a pretty good user friendly interface as well, like some of the other software that on this list. So again, if you're trying to get into some, something brand new, having that good beginning user interface is always something that you want to look at. And the third pro is that this is a free software. So this is something you can definitely try out. And if you don't like it, you haven't lost any money. But if you do like it, you are able to have yourself a free software that you can continue using for your videos. Now for the con side, I've heard that it is good for like more of the video aspect side of things. However, the animations, graphics, things like that, this one isn't too big on and it may end up causing your computer to slow down in some instances or your project to slow down in some instances. So again, if you're working on something more dependent on the graphics side of things, this software may not be your best and the user interface for this one is okay. I think for I think for beginners, it may look extremely uh, convoluted. But again, once you play around with the software, hopefully you'll be able to see everything. But this is actually one that I've even seen myself as more of a pro non-linear editor. So again, if you like something to look you know really nice and clean, and you kind of know where everything else is at just by looking at the screen. Uh, this one may be a bit harder you may actually have to look at some YouTube videos or look at some of the troubleshoots or other support pages when using this software. So now we just went through the pros and cons of my top five editing softwares you can go ahead and use and download today. Now on top of the software itself it's also important 
to have a good computer. Because depending on your computer, it can definitely affect your rendering times, your slowdowns on your PC or Mac, exporting times, etc etc so even if you do end up getting one of these higher end software editing software is definitely um, also been to look out on what type of editing physical hardware that you currently have and if you're still interested as well you can definitely check the description box below i do have a 30-day course to youtube pretty much an easy to follow guide that will get you from point a to point b b being full youtube channel it's great for beginners, but it's also great for people who have been on YouTube for quite a bit and they haven't actually been able to grow their channel. I'll go over free and paid services for thumbnails and also editing software as well. And also the foundation that you will probably will need in actually creating a successful YouTube that will actually grow within the year or two or three, as opposed to a lot of other people who may have started a YouTube channel maybe a year or two ago and they're still only at 30 subs. I definitely don't want you guys to be in that situation. So if you're interested in that, definitely check the description box below for that. Anyways, guys, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.